impressive. And we have with us Noe Landini of that establishment that's been there since 1979. Why is he on this show? Because like so many other business owners... He is suffering the results of a willing government shutdown of business, but also he is a member of the Heritage Foundation's National Coronavirus Recovery Commission. Mr. Landini, welcome to America First. Thanks for having me. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Now, you, you are a managing director, not just of that fabulous institution, but, but several uh, establishments around the region, correct? Uh, that's correct. So, so you are uh, responsible for the Junction Bakery and Bistro, Bar Deco, uh, not only Landini Brothers, but the Anchor Bar, Fish Market and Anchor Bar, and Pop's Old Fashioned Ice Cream Company. With that breadth of concerns you're responsible for, tell us what the last two months have meant for you. Uh, trying times, to say the least. You know, you spent, you spent years building uh, a, a successful restaurant group and uh, literally overnight, it's shut down. Um, and so the last two months, uh, you go from from acceleration, acceleration to to preservation. Uh, literally, the whole name of the game is damage control. And uh, you know, trying to stay in touch with your people, trying to figure out how to get as many people back to work as possible when you're operating at you know less than eight percent across the board. Uh, fortunately, we have a uh, junction uh, that's been able to operate uh, pretty uh, pretty seamlessly through the, 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 ju- the transition. The, 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 junction, you know the I mean? junction Bakery is operating? Yeah, Junction Bakery, Bistro and Bakery in Alexandria. Junction, ba- Bistro, junction ba- uh, Bistro and Bar in Capitol Hill, we had to shut down because we had just opened it. But uh, in Alexandria, uh, you know, fortunately, we've, we've had enough time in the neighborhood for people to know who we are. And uh, we've been able to successfully stay open and operate, you know, still at 100% um, in Alexandria, but completely changed the, the game. I mean, you know, everything's curbside now. Right. Not allowed to use the dining room. So, uh, you know, and not all restaurants can do that. You know, in the beginning, the, the first 30 days of this, everyone's like, oh, you know, just, uh, just, just, just switch to curbside. Uh, you can just do takeout. Well, you know, that doesn't work for, uh, six of our places. You know, you can't just switch to curbside. We, we, we've done it in extremely limited capacity, five days a week at Landini Brothers and Fish Market. But I mean, I'm talking, I'm talking, you know, from, uh, you know, 100% before the pandemic to 4%. We, we, I think 4% is being generous. Right. We, we have breaking news here. The Senate has passed the $484 billion relief package. So this has additional relief for small businesses in it uh, that should help people in your position. Uh, but you made a very bold statement. So I, I'm reading from, from an Alexandra publication. We're talking to Noah Landini of Landini Brothers. Quote, we told our staff they know they have their jobs as soon as we can back, get back to normal. That's a big statement to make, Mr. Landini. I, I mean it. Uh, it's 100% accurate. And the, the, the caveat there is back to normal. The bounce back is the unknown. And you know, as many experts as we've talked to, and even as we discussed this kind of thing in the commission, it's, uh, you don't know. You, know, you don't know uh, what it's going to look like. Uh, you can gauge, I think, more or less what the government will allow you to do in terms of social distancing and things like that. But you don't know what the general population, how they're going to respond, what their comfort levels are, you know, when you are right. allowed. Do, do they want to come back into a restaurant with half the seating right. of not? Uh, how, how willing are people going to go not to get pick, take out, but to actually sit down? This is the question of the bounce back. Were, were you surprised to be invited onto the Heritage Foundation's National Commission for Coronavirus Recovery, Mr. Landini? I, I was honored. I mean, look, uh, you know, uh, it gives me a, a sense of purpose other than, you know, uh, uh, making my, my normal rounds into empty buildings, um, uh, lifeless buildings, you know, because, uh, you know, our, our businesses are our people. Our people are our businesses. And so when, when you know, when you, when you lay off 300 people, 
it, it's it's a kind of lonely existence. So it gives me a sense of purpose, and I'm happy to contribute what I can. I mean, I'm definitely not the smartest guy in the room, that's for sure. Uh, you know, these people are uh, experts in, in their industries, uh, whether they're, you know, research uh, uh, scientists or doctors or presidents of uh, institutions or uh, CEOs of large uh, organizations. So I'm happy to be there and represent small business. Well, we, we are very glad uh, to have you on that commission as a voice here. Um, in the last minute we have with you, this is Noah Landini of the Landini Brothers in, in Alexandra. Uh, you have a, su- a substantial set of uh, businesses. What is your message to those who have one small business, maybe one cafe, one mom and pop shop? What is your message to them in this time of severe difficulty in America, Mr. Landini? Uh, my message is hang in there, you know, uh, hang in there for as long as you can and spend your money wisely. Um, you know, everything is of priority in terms of how you spend your money, pay your people first and everything else is uh, secondary, uh, in terms of priority, keep your people as long as you can. Those are your most important asset and try to work out deals with landlords and your vendors and, uh, you know, your utility companies and everything else, put those on the back burner. I think the, I think the most important thing right now is try to, is, is the preservation of the people that make up your company. With that, and if you can do that, I think that's, uh, I think that's the long-term game plan, the most successful long-term game plan you can have if you're a mom and pop shop. With that attitude, we will come through this. That's pure America. We've been talking to Noah Landini of Landini Brothers. Stay strong. As he said, these businesses are people first. That's what the politicians have forgotten far too readily. I'm Sebastian Gorka. This is America First Coast to Coast on the Salem Radio Network. Back with none other than Sarah Carter. Don't touch that dial.